hello friends welcome to my channel data making in this video i am going to explain how to install open jdk java on ubuntu operating system let's get started so i am going to update the repository using the sudo apt update okay which is sudo space apt hyphen get space update so you can open a terminal by opening the terminal window or you can do use the shortcut as control alt t which will open the terminal window so i am using a ubuntu 22.04 if you want to verify your operating system which is a ubuntu version you can just say cat space etc lsb hyphen etc slash lsb hyphen release so it will tell you the your ubuntu distribution version which is like 22.0.2 .2. okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to run this sudo apt update command on my terminal okay it is going to ask you the password so it's my user password my user is data making and uh, so you, you, you whatever the user you are using you can give your passwords so it it is going to update your repository so based on your internet bandwidth it will take some time so once this is done so what you can do is you can do the sudo apt get install and you can provide this name which is open jdk hyphen eight hyphen jdk Basically, I'm going to install Open JDK version 8. 8. So for that, I can run this command. Let me clear my terminal window. Then run this command. Okay, so I'm just repeating this. sudo space apt hyphen get space install open JDK hyphen 8 hyphen JDK. So it is going to consume 163 MB of additional disk space. So you can just say continue S. Yes. I will say press here Y. So again, it is going to download the binaries or the required pa uh, packages from the internet. So again, it is going to uh, take some time based on your internet bandwidth and it is installing the JDK, which is a Java 8. So it is installation is done. If you want to verify, you can just run the command Java if one version. So it says uh, open JDK version 1.8.0 underscore 382. So it is done. So you can, it, it's installed on this location. You can verify this also. So the command is ls space slash user, usr, not user, uh, usr slash lib slash jvm and then slash java iphone 8 iphone open jdk iphone amd64 this location your java 8 is installed which is a jdk is installed so if you look at the bin folder you will find the java compiler and interpreters okay so which is java c is a java compiler and java is a basically interpreter which will help you which will help you to run your uh, java class files right so and then what we are going to do is we are going to set up the uh, java home direct uh, java home virtual and uh, sorry virtual uh, <coughs> system environment variable called java home on the bash rc file which is a profile file and uh, using that you can set the java home so let me open that so where your uh, dot bash rc file located is home directory either you can run this command use like this or you can just uh, you can you can also run like this way home slash my user my you are in your room home, home directory it will be there so home slash data making is my user so either i can use this command or this command so let me run this so the tilde is nothing but our home directory right so clear the screen 
uh, I'll just use the sudo since you are updating your uh, home di uh, files which is there in your home directory sudo is not necessary but still I'm just using it you can you can do or it's fine even okay so so I'm going to so the you need to put your path so the JDK installation path so this is what um, my JVM is installed, the JDK is installed. So what you need to do is export Java home equal to you provide the path. Then you are adding this Java home environment variable to the path variable. So export path equal to dollar path colon dollar Java home slash pin. So this we need to add. So you can come to the bottom of the file and place this. So you can just put some comment saying setting up java home environment variable okay so this is done so after doing this you can just say control o to update the file and enter and it has written the updated the file control x2 coming out of the a nano editor so then you can uh, either you can close the terminal and uh, reopen it or you can run the source command followed by uh, your bash rc file location which is tilde which is nothing but home directory and i run this so now i should be able to do the same java version okay so this is environment variable so set we are also able to verify the version right so the jdk's installation is successful so i hope this video is helpful for you uh, if you have any question post on this uh, video uh, comment section of this video i will help you shortly thank you so much